Hello, Crime and Lost Nation. Today's topic is the top 10 dumbest laws of the state of Washington. Number 10. It is illegal to sleep in an outhouse without the owner's permission. I think this is more of a common sense thing. You wouldn't sleep at someone's house without their permission. So I can see why this may be on the books because of homeless people doing it. But I still thought it was pretty dumb. Because we really don't use our houses that much anymore since bathrooms become part of a normal house. Number 9. You can't buy a mattress on a Sunday. I think this one is highly doubted, is actually enforced. Don't know why they made it, don't know the backstory of it, but I do think that this law is pretty dumb. Number 8. You cannot buy meat of any kind on Sunday. I'm sure this part of has a reason for it. I just couldn't find it when I was looking it up. But I think it's pretty dumb because we have 24 hour stores now and I'm pretty sure that they sell meat on Sundays in the state of Washington. Number seven. You may not spit on a bus. I think this is more of a courtesy thing, or like manners, than should be a law. But, you know, someone somewhere must have done it enough times that it got made into a law. Which is why I think this one got made into a law. Number six. Destroying another person's beer cask, barrel, keg, or bottle is strictly forbidden. As is filling any of these things without the owner's written consent. I could see destroying someone's property not being okay. Because that's pretty common sense. I thought it was kind of weird that you can't fill the things with other liquids without the owner's consent. Because what if you're repurposing a company's bottle? It's not going to be easy to get written consent from that company. But I can see why they have it. Just for copyright and all that too. Other people's recipes and all that. Number five. It is illegal to pretend one's parents are rich. I think this one's really dumb because everybody's gonna know whether your parents are rich or not. And it would be really hard to actually make them seem rich when they're not. And I also think this is a more of a common sense thing and a moral thing. Like, you shouldn't lie about your family and the wealth or something. It's just not good to lie in general. Number four. No person may walk with no person may walk about in the public if he or she has the common code. I think this is a courteous thing. Like, if you're going to be out in public and you're sick, you should put, like, one of those masks on so you don't breathe on to other people. But then again, I can see why people still may need to go out when they're sick. Like, they may have to go to work even though they're sick. So I think this one 
it's more of use as your own judgment thing. Like if you're too sick to go out, then you should probably stay home. But I understand also if you you're sick and you still have to go to work. Number three. The harassing of Bigfoot, Sasquatch, or other undiscovered subspecies is a felony. I think it shouldn't just be them. I think it's animals in general. You shouldn't mess with animals. Because they have done nothing to you. Most of the time when animals are act out against humans, it's because humans are invading their environment. And Bigfoot would tear us apart if we mess with him. So don't mess with Bigfoot. Number two. X-rays may not be used to fit shoes. I think someone may someone had it, had tried this. I'm guessing someone was drunk when they tried this. But it's more of why? Why would someone attempt this? Because I think it's pretty dumb. Number one. Suckers are banned. I think this is, has to be the dumbest law I found in the state of Washington. I'm very doubtful this is even still enforced. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below how your week's been. Also, comment down below if you have any ideas that you would like to see me do on the channel. Also, comment if you have a state that you would like to, to see me do next. I'm thinking about making this into a series. Everybody have a fun and safe weekend. This is Crime Atlas, and I'm out.